When I finished RE4 Remake back in March, I was genuinely curious about what's potentially next for the Remake series. And let me tell you, I was not prepared for it to be like this. <laughs> go, 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 just get out of here. <laughs> go! Ah! Oh, that's you. Oh, avoid him. We're supposed to fight him up top over there. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where to go. It Going into this game knowing it's a co-op experience, I tagged in one of my best friends, Veteran Track, otherwise known as Jose, to be the boulder-punching manwitch to my broken AI princess. For our playthrough, we played on Veteran difficulty so that I could unlock Professional difficulty, which we will get to later. To preface this, Jose and I have never played or really seen much of RE5, so we pretty much went into this game blind. No guides, no nothing. So starting the game off, Chris Redfield is sent to investigate bioweapons that are being smuggled into the Kijuju Autonomous Zone, where he meets his partner, Sheva Alomar. Chris Redfield. Your reputation precedes you, Mr. Redfield. Dude, a paper cut would kill Chris. You see those veins? He's like a penis, he's all veined up. It's like a Snickers bar too off. And I'm gonna see it through. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot I'm Sheva. <laughs> that took me out of the loop. Look at me, I can I can walk forward but sideways. <laughs> Hello. Hello, we're playing we're playing with my best friend and uh non-biological younger brother, Jose, otherwise known as Veteran Track, who just typed in the stream in real time. Isn't he talented? After we're done playing grab ass, we meet with Steven Seagal and load up on weapons because apparently people are hostile here in a Resident Evil game? What the fuck? Anyways, we exit the building the most logical way. Oh, I see. Uh <laughs> and we're met with an angry mob of people. So promptly, we ran away and got ready for the first fight of the game. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm low on health. Thank you. Okay, Crystal, Crystal boy. I got you. 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 No, I don't. <laughs> Grab me before I can heal you. <laughs> hey, I got no more ammo. That whose fault is that now? Who f***ing whose fault is that how now? Get, how do we get out of here? We're waiting for Big Man. Oh, oh Big Man's after you though. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh no, he's after me. No, Jose, no. help! Oh, you're not gonna get to me. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not gonna make it. Yeah. What did you do? I got chased by Big Axe Man. At first, Jose and I lacked team synergy, but once we started to communicate more, we were able to survive the onslaught, and during that scuffle, we got two trophies. Baptism by Fire, and Stop, Drop, and Roll. And upon the completion of Chapter 1-1, we popped another trophy. Since we survived the massive barrage of enemies, Jose and I had to cut through downtown before we could rendezvous with Alpha Team. Uh... One of us goes on top, other one. You want me to top you? Is that what you're saying? No. <laughs> you couldn't top an ant. What the f do you mean? What does that even mean? <laughs> Why do you sound like a fucking thunder, like a, a, a windstorm whenever you get caught by someone? After some shenanigans go down, we finally meet up with Alpha Team, only to find them all gooped up and infested with ringworms, otherwise known as Ouroboros. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Ah! I'm dead! Well, you're not gonna come get me! I tried to get you! You can go I the other way! Oh, I <laughs> This is all your fault. It is my fault, but I was just saying you could go the other way. Scott blow himself up. <laughs> yeah, I blew myself. That's what happened. Oh no. Despite us still working out the kinks to teamwork, the Ouroboros didn't stand a chance, and with that fight done, brings the end of chapter 1-2, earning us another trophy. 
Now entering chapter 2-1, Jose and I work together to make it through various situations to varying levels of success. But what mattered is that we were finally working together. And then we stopped doing that. What? I got double tapped. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, you died? Yeah, you died too. I didn't though. I got down. There's a difference. No, no. You got down first, and then I was about to get down. But then because you were down, that means we both died. Sounds that real sussy. That means you died first. We then relearned the power of friendship, and with that, we got past the market section and even got a trophy for defeating 20 enemies with physical attacks. But not much later, we ran into a common occurrence in this game that can only be described as our greatest weakness. Quick time events. Oh shit, Ghost Rider. I was just about to- Oh, oh bro. I got fucked up. Dude, you died. What button You're was pressing. I supposed to press? Square. I didn't get a button prompt. Oh, did I? Did I press her? Okay, there we go. Oh, no. Did you get a button prompt? No, I didn't. Okay, but I did and I pressed it. What the f***? That's what I'm saying! I pressed it, dude! It's L2 and R2! Several attempts later, when the game would actually read our inputs, we would end another chapter earning yet another trophy. Chapter 2-2 is when the game starts to be a bit cheeky with its surprises for its players. Oh, shit, we're in a minecart? I'm in a, I can't get out! I can't get out! I can't! But outside of getting the lifeguard trophy, which is for healing your partner from the dying status ten times, nothing really eventful happens, and so with the completion of the chapter, we earn yet another trophy. Chapter 2-3 is basically a glorified arcade shooter, which was fun in its own right, except the game had to ruin it with the Indesu fight. I'll get the guys on the sides, you get- Okay. We gotta do all that over again! Uh, 20 minutes later. <laughs> this is really boring. It'd be a shame to have to start all over again. We're not going to, this is the last phase. There you go. That- that was- <laughs> <laughs> That was the boss fight of all time. And with the completion of that dumpster fire, I got another trophy. Chapter 3-1 is more along the lines of a classic RE level, as it's non-linear and encourages players to go out and discover every inch of what the level has to offer, which was awesome, and I honestly wish more of the game was like this. During this chapter, we have to grab four pieces of a medallion in order to progress, the first of which is at the very beginning. But of course, the second place we decided to go to was arguably the hardest of the four. Wait! Leave! Go, 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 go! Just get out of here! <laughs> go! Ah! <laughs> oh! Okay, thanks for grabbing that! <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go, let's run. Let's get out of here. With the second piece of the medallion in hand, we made a mad dash back to the boat, but before we were able to leave, we were shut in leaving the responsibility up to me to shoot everyone while Jose is driving around erratically. Okay, well, you better you better sh start shooting. Stop moving. Oh my god. I, I can't. If I don't move, we're going to get hit. Having barely made it out of there, we enter the next area which has a suspiciously sized lake filled with absolutely nothing. Just 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 go. <gasps> what the fuck? What? 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 <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit! Ah! It's Florida. <laughs> my idea. My idea. Mine. Mine. It's your idea. It's your <gasps> idea. It's yo, yours. It's yo, yours. <laughs> yo, yo, no. Is Jose okay? He sounded like he was burning. He's good. He's oh, good. No. Yeah, I'm good. I'm all good. Mine. 
Once again, with another piece of the medallion, we bolted back to the boat to arrive at the next location, another suspiciously empty area. Okay, now come, come down, on. please. You're so acrobatic. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What? Really? Jose, Senor. come on now. Senor. I'm so far away from you. Wait, why'd you leave me? Because I thought we were just running out of there. Oh, no, there's another slat. There's another one? Where? On the left side. Okay, Scott. So I, wa I want you to look up. I want you to look up. What? Do you see there's one over oh. there? Oh! And then there's one over there. Oh. So when they come over here, don't leave me, please. Okay? Oh. We're doing, we're doing the left side. Jose? Huh? It wasn't a slab. What was it? It was just treasure. Oh, wait, really? Yeah. Oh, well, then that's good, so that we could just run away now. Oh, man, it's like well, we should have known in the first place. No, but then we wouldn't have been able to get this treasure, you know? So, technically, it was... So let me top you already. <laughs> <laughs> How you do it? See, we wouldn't have been able... We wouldn't have been able to get that treasure, though. Yeah, dude, take all the credit. Yeah, no, it's... Yeah, I am taking all the credit. Thank you very much. I'm driving now. Right. Wait, what? No, switch spots. <laughs> no, please, come on. All right, we're going, we're going back, right? Oh, what? Nero, bro, you, Nero, see? you see what happened? Nero, you're, you're not, you're not a good driver. You already hit something. I never hit. <laughs> with every piece obtained, we take it to a door to progress into a new, suspiciously wide open area with lots of loot, and this happens. You want some uh, pistol ammo? Whoa, what the hell is here? Or actually, you do want rifle ammo because you have a dragon off. <gasps> okay. <laughs> what? Wait. Jose I literally even... doesn't know when to stop. Wait, no, I, 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 swear to, I swear to God, I didn't even know. What does this do? Gets trapped. That's crazy. I, I actually didn't know. Stop, Jose 2023. <laughs> Oh, <gasps> what the hell is that? What? Ah, oh, f <laughs> Run! I just discovered in real time! Okay. We're fine. This part was a bit rough for us to adjust to, as we died a couple times before we realized you could just stun lock the big Magini, which made everything so much easier. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh! You were across, <laughs> though! Wait, I you were- it, I, ha I had to open it. The oh door. my god, but you were across what? though. You were not that? even- you were not even on the bridge I let go. <sighs> Upon reflection, I definitely let go of the bridge way earlier than I initially thought, but the point still stands. There's still solid ground there. But after this, we completed the chapter and got another trophy. Chapter 3-2 is pretty... uneventful. But I did get three trophies, those being the Exploding Heads trophy for getting 20 headshots, the Fireworks trophy for shooting an enemy's dynamite, and the Meat Shower trophy for defeating three enemies with one explosive. Once again, upon completion of the chapter, we get another trophy. Chapter 3-3 is a big Michael Bay themed boat ride straight out of Disneyland, and this is also where the game starts to introduce turrets into the combat equation. <laughs> this chapter was also bullying the absolute hell out of Jose, too. Hold on. Oh, got you. God, are you kidding me? Oh, no. Stop. No. No. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> I then took down the turrets, and with our newfound safety, Jose got a little drunk with power. Whoa. Okay, you scared the absolute <laughs> shit out of me. My life flashed before my eyes. 
Go get all that stuff. Okay, yeah, I'll just I'll be your bitch then, huh? I'll just go <laughs> grab everything. <laughs> just make the injured person go pick up everything. <laughs> if you shoot me, I'm going to... I'm going to throat punch you. <laughs> Once we made it back to the boat, it was time to fight Steve Buscemi. Won't you two just die already? You're making me look bad! Who do you think got this entire operation off the ground? You're making me look bad! <laughs> This fight, again, is just your average arcade shooter, and thanks to Jose participating in some light hentai, I earned the A Friend in Need trophy for rescuing him 10 times. Unfortunately, this fight is really boring to watch, so with its defeat brings the end of another chapter, earning us a trophy. In Chapter 401, we set our sights on a cave to find out the origins of Ouroboros. Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. However, during this chapter, the game started to devolve into a creepypasta. Do you see this? Why? This dude's not gonna die. He's dead. What? Let me see your screen. Go back, look, look at him. Bro, he's glitched. There's this dude just walking around. Should I send this on Snapchat so that everybody else can see? Uh, I guess if you want. <laughs> Let me do this. Is he just walk? He's just walking in circles. <laughs> walking, bro. Look at the power within. The power within. The power <laughs> within. Within. The power <laughs> within. Within. All right. That's the fuck. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh. What, what did you get hit by? Dude, is our game glitch? You what are you shooting that? at? Do you not see it? I don't see anything other than Dude, pots. there's like five guys in front of me! They're all dead to me. Wait! I think this is part of the game. This has got to be part of the game. Bro's tweaking out here. After we play with some balls, we entered a tomb filled with a lot of pulley things and a giant batorpion. That's a bat scorpion for those of you who are slow. And after that, we get a cutscene with some booba and Wesker, and then earn a trophy for completing another chapter. Hi, editor's note here. Uh, for some reason I didn't have notifications on, so the trophy didn't pop here. That's a plus one for the clown count. Chapter 4-2 requires us to collect three medallions in this big maze-like room. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there's lasers too. Oh! Oh! <laughs> God damn it. But once we collected all the medallions, we proceeded into a set of puzzle rooms filled with lasers. But these lasers will kill you upon contact. All right. So, so what? Do I just do I just grab this shit? Or? If you want. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Yep. And you're dead. Wait. <laughs> Wait. It's backwards. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, are you gonna make me do this? Do you want me to do it? I mean, if you want people to like see how I can do this. Jose, I can do this puzzle if you want me to. No, no. I got this, I got this. Okay. Okay, so I'm assuming yeah, we move this here. So we're gonna break this shit down. This way, right? Yeah. Okay, see? What do you know? He's learning. Alright, you ready? Yep. <gasps> Bro, <wait. laughs> you ready? I'm gonna f murder you is what you're trying to do, huh? <laughs> you're really thinking hard on, like, which way to turn right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. You've got your tongue sticking out trying to, like, figure this out. How are you gonna get out of there now? You know what? I didn't know. I don't know. Can you move the can you move the laser? You want me to do that? Over there? Yeah, move that one. Move it to the left. From my perspective to the left or your perspective? Your perspective. So it's reversed? Or actually Maybe the right. No, it's not. Ah, shit, I don't know. Just do just do right. Just do right stick. I promise you. See there you go, see? Huzzah! And you only died once. Now that all that shit's over with, the chapter ends and earns us another trophy. Although for some reason it didn't pop, but just trust me, bro. I also earned the A Cut Above trophy somewhere in that chapter, so yeah. I don't know why I had notifications turned off.
Chapter 5-1 is when the game kind of dips its toe into horror as it brings back an old friend from the golden days of Resident Evil. What about if we see some fucked up shit? That'd be great. I would love it. Oh! Oh, oh no way! What is this? Hey, no hey, fucking stop. way, bro. First, bro. Hell what? yeah. I don't know what that is. What you is played it? RE2, didn't you? No, don't tell me it's a fucking liquor. Don't you fucking tell me we're about to fight a liquor. This is the first Looks like it was attacked by wild animals. What a horrible way to die. Come on! <laughs> we didn't get any of those boxes. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, come on, man. Come on. Go. Did you even oh, kill him? Oh, 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 I just wanted to pick up a jewel. Hurry up! Wait. Okay. Press circle! It wouldn't let me! At the end of the chapter, we have a bit of a lore dump. Oh. Oh, it's Mr. House. I forgot this is from Neil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just fucking false down. Gay antics in the summer. And then we have a boss fight with a massive crab spider thing. Oh, <laughs> well, that's you. And that was the oh. end of of Chris Redfield. <laughs> he will never crazy. show up in any Resident Evil game. Thank God. That was, that was crazy. This boss fight is pretty simple. Shoot the weak spot, spider gets stunned. Shoot the mouth, rinse and repeat. But on veteran difficulty, this fight went on way longer than it needed to. There we go. Okay. That was annoying. <laughs> that was, yeah. That wasn't a great boss fight, that, I'll be honest. That, that wasn't, yeah. I'm not liking the boss fights here. But with its defeat closes another chapter of the game, earning another trophy. And I still somehow didn't notice that I had notifications off. Despite the quality of the boss fights in this game, Jose and I were having a lot of fun, and we didn't really understand why a lot of people hated this game. And then we saw enemies with guns. Oh! oh. What the fuck? Okay, <laughs> this is gonna be toxic as f Gun enemies aside, we progress deeper into this toxic petri dish of bullshit to be met with a bug-like fellow who will one-shot you. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh that... shit! Oh shit! What? Wait, you ran past it? Yeah, I ran past it. Where are you at? I'm Bro. stuck. I'm stuck here. Okay, Jose. All right. <laughs> I was coming back. All right. You... Okay. I thought we were gonna <laughs> take it down, but okay. <laughs> you just gotta run past it. That's all I gotta do. Okay. That one wasn't my fault. I'm just saying. No, oh, you're right. I just thought we would take him down. I, uh, I misread the situation. <laughs> what you gotta do? I can't wait for you to die to this. <laughs> just as single-minded as he said. You spent so long Jesus Christ. It's Jason Bourne. <laughs> Chill out, Scott. <laughs> and at the end of this chapter contains what is quite possibly one of the most annoying boss fights in the Resident Evil franchise. You see, we were shooting and setting this ringworm amalgamation on fire for like a solid 20 minutes before Jose died. And we just decided, yeah, fuck this, and used the RPG that I've been saving this whole time. Yeah. All right. Oh, I guess we should have gotten all this stuff. Well. With its defeat brings the end of Chapter 5-2. And again, I still had my notifications turned off. Now, for a majority of Chapter 5-3, nothing really special happens. However, the end of the chapter is where we fight not just Mr. Alberto Wesker, but also fake Jill, because the only real Jill in my heart is the remake Jill, and I will die on this hill. I 
wish that were me. Yeah, I was. <laughs> all right, how the f do we get? Are we gonna do this? Uh, we don't even have ammo. Oh, he's oh. <laughs> he's the Flash. To restrain Jill, so we have to go behind Jill and restrain her. Okay. <laughs> you just. <got> <laughs> I had it, I had it, I had it. Got her, got her, got her, got her. <laughs> All right, here he comes. Oh shit, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Once our seven minute play date with Wesker was up, we would then have to debugify fake Jill's cleavage. Oh shit, I had the, had the button, there we go. <laughs> We're just cheesing them. Maybe it's we have crazy. to shoot it? I don't know. I don't think so. Do they expect us to do this the whole time? Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, wait. That's how you do it. Okay, got it. Turn off. Oh, wait, turn off. Turn off. No, 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 no. Oh, you think so? Okay. I'm doing it again. There we go. There go. What I say? What I say? What I say? With this incredible boss fight over with, the chapter ends, thus popping another trophy. With Jill now saved, we follow Wesker and Excella onto this big ass boat. And kind of like most of the last chapter, nothing really special happens in Chapter Six One. So upon its completion, we earn yet another trophy. Chapter 6-2 is the shortest chapter of the game, since it's really just a boss fight that is extremely bullet spongy. Granted, we had no idea there was a Hammer of Dawn that you could use. So after about 30 minutes of shooting, firing, doing whatever the fuck I was doing here, and dying, this boss was finally defeated, thus ending the chapter, and you guessed it, I earned another trophy. Chapter 6-3 is a lot. The first half of the chapter is an onslaught of all the most annoying enemies from this back half of the game all at once. You got Stunrod enemies, AK bitches, the Beatles, and finally, Thing 1 and Thing 2. Oh. My. Fucking. God. This game is unrelenting right now. This makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> it just puts things into perspective. Shooting the bad guys will hurt them. Thank you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Oh. oh. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. I don't know where you are. I don't know where you are. I'm, I'm panicking. I'm okay. panicking. I'm panicking. I can't go down. It won't let me. Go the, oh yeah. my god. This, this is, is so this is hard. This is a dumb. Now that we were done with one of the lowest lows of the game, it was time to soar into one of the highest highs of the entire Resident Evil franchise, in my opinion at least. The Wesker boss fight. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> what do you accomplish by that was a good guess, Red Ralph. For this fight, you have to turn off all the lights in the area since Wesker can't see because he refuses to take off his shades. Then shoot an RPG at him, knock him down, and then finally inject him. But, uh, it's us we're talking about here, so... How do you think it went? We get- we could get the RPG for the now. Oh! oh. <laughs> Dude wants your ass right now! I shoot the RPG and then you get- it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I can't see, motherfucker! Stop! Stop! I'm coming! <laughs> Wesker, stop! You're too powerful I'm for coming. us! Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is the best oh. boss fight I've ever had! <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Okay, you're a mean man. Okay, I'm going away. Now let me guess. You 
Uh-oh. Oh, oh, shit. This fight is ridiculous. And after the parade of stupidity, Jose and I were successful in giving Wesker his flu shot, leading to a cutscene filled with more monologuing and surprise QTEs. Oh shit! Oh, that was my fault. Oh. <laughs> I was not ready, I but was I, 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 I did press it. Oh shit! No 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 no! I, <laughs> I pressed the f***ing home button and it stopped me from doing the thing. <laughs> oh my god! No! Fuck <laughs> this game, bro! Oh, the sheep! Go for it, Chris! Chris! What? You did. You did. It was like a split second. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make was... us do it all. Don't make us do it all. Oh my. Like... Once we manage to get over our old man response times, we crash land into the center of a volcano to take out Wesker once and for all. Okay. Oh, he's coming. He's yeah, coming. I've got nothing to stop this. Oh wait, I have the red. Okay, the red. I'll, I'll come. I'll give it to you right over here. Oh, we're supposed to now fight him. Okay, I wasted all of that ammo. That's great. That's really great. Are you out of ammo? Yes. Like everything? Yes. <laughs> It was at this point where we decided we were shit out of luck with ammo, so I bought an RPG and did what I had to do. There we go. <laughs> Ready, partner? Locked and loaded. Suck on this, boy. Is this a Oh yeah it is. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> no! I was ready for it. I was ready. <laughs> this game really is a gift that keeps on giving. But on the next go around, we both pressed the QTE correctly and got the trophy for completing chapter 6-3, as well as three other difficulty related trophies for playing on veteran difficulty, thus closing the book on the first playthrough. Now comes the very grindy part of the game. So, I played RE5 a bunch to obtain a lot of money to upgrade every weapon, which earns me the Take It to the Max trophy. Next, I randomly got the Stockpile trophy when looking for all the collectibles in the game. This trophy is for obtaining all available weapons. To this day, I'm still confused as to why it popped here of all places. After that, I went through every level finding the cleverly hidden BSAA emblems, which pops the Badge of Honor trophy. And with all of those emblems found, I could also unlock every outfit available for both Chris and Sheba, thus popping the All Dressed Up trophy. Following that, I massacred a city's population worth of people to get the last bit of treasure I was missing to obtain the wonderfully named They Belong in a Museum trophy. For the sake of organization, we're going to jump a little ahead in the timeline of when I got these trophies to when I was trying to get the figurine trophy. In order to have every figurine available, you must complete every level in the game with an S rank, which is honestly pretty easy if you have the infinite rocket launcher like myself, which was a reward for beating the game in under 5 hours. Once I S ranked every level, I then farmed chapter 6-2 on professional difficulty to get the maximum amount of exchange points in the shortest amount of time. And after doing this for what felt like decades, I finally had enough exchange points to acquire the last figurine, which pops the their action figures trophy. Now with the soul draining grind over with, it's time to cover all of the miscellaneous kill base trophies. Starting off, I got the lead aspirin trophy for somehow getting a headshot while an enemy is jumping here. Next, I f***ed up Wesker in the Jill sandwich fight, which popped the bad blood trophy. I then went to town on the enemies in the first chapter with a Gatling gun, and after 30 casualties, I popped the crowd control trophy. 
After that, I took back control of Sheva to use her exclusive weapon, a bow, and took down 30 more enemies to pop the Bull's Eye Trophy. I then forgot to hit record when going for the Cattle Prod Trophy, which is for defeating 30 enemies with the Stun Rod. Following that, I tried to get the Ride the Lightning Trophy for killing an enemy with a Transformer, but fucking 20 pound Scrotum over here kept ruining my attempts. Really, Chris? Don't you shoot him. Chris. But eventually, Chris's murder boner went flaccid and allowed me to finally pop the trophy. The next trophy I aimed to get was the Who Do You Trust trophy, which is for thanking your partner however many times, and to achieve this, I electrocuted myself to near death multiple times while thanking Chris for every heal. In just a little after 10 minutes of this, the trophy finally popped. I then stabbed a liquor in the heart for a trophy, performed a Marvel vs. Capcom combo on a dude, sliced an arrow out of the air with my knife, shot a driver in his dumb, pathetic-ass face, flashed two enemies at the same time, really should work on phrasing that, and then finally, the last two miscellaneous trophies involved a rotten egg, which is a fairly rare drop from most enemies starting in Chapter 4-1 and onwards. Initially, I farmed the spiders in 4-1 for about 30 minutes with no luck on the drop, and so I decided, screw it, and instead farmed 5-2 for an additional hour and a half before finally a rotten egg dropped, earning me the egg hunt trophy for acquiring every type of egg. That's it. Oh my god, finally. Finally! Holy shit. That was like, what, an hour or two of just farming trying to get that? Jesus Christ. With this stinker, I went into chapter 1-2 to pelt one unfortunate soul to get the egg on your face trophy, and... Okay, let's, let's do that again. Yeah, there we go. The egg throw was so good it broke the internet. Finally, the only trophy left now is to complete the game on professional difficulty. On this difficulty, it takes one to two hits to go into the dying status, and you can only remain in that status for less than three seconds before you die. This sounds very intimidating, but I do have an infinite rocket launcher which makes this difficulty pretty easy. However, I did struggle quite a bit on two parts during the game, those being the Indesu fight and the Jill sandwich fight. The Indesu fight is basically the same problem as it was during the co-op playthrough. He's a big bullet sponge. But after I had a little bit of time to come up with a plan, I managed to come out on top. The really difficult part on Professional was dealing with the Jill sandwich fight. But honestly, it wasn't Wesker or Jill that were my problem. It was Chris. And myself. Seven minutes. Seven minutes is all I can spend. Oh no! <laughs> Chris, what are you f***ing doing, dude? What are you doing? We can't... We can't split up? <laughs> I can't even be mad about that, that's really funny. I can't even be mad about that. That's just really funny to me. My next idea was to restrain Jill and incapacitate her so that we only have to worry about Wesker. But Boulder Puncher didn't get the memo. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Come on. Right here, right here, right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. One eternity later. Chris. Chris, please. Chris, right here. Chris, 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 Chris. Chris, 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 Chris. Throw her. Chris, throw her. Yes. You son of a bitch. Chris, why are you running? Why'd you run away? No matter how hard I tried, Chris kept getting dumber and dumber as every attempt passed by. I'm taking that away from you. I'm taking away your rocket launcher rights. You are grounded from the rocket launcher. 
are you doing? Wait, stop! Oh, shoot! Chris, stop! What are you doing, dude? <laughs> you try to kill her! Chris. Chris. You left me? I'm fighting Chris more than anyone. My last resort was just to babysit Chris until the seven minute time limit was up. And I shit you not, the way I did this was by sitting in a corner and spamming the come on button. And thankfully, this worked, thus ending the nightmare. The rest of the game after this was a cakewalk thanks to the infinite rocket launcher. So upon completion of the final chapter on Professional, I not only got the War Hero Trophy, but I also got the Platinum Trophy. Resident Evil 5 is a pretty big hot mess of a game that I enjoy quite a lot, flaws and all. Overall, the game isn't really that difficult, save for gun enemies on higher difficulties, as well as the Indesu and Wesker fights, so I think the Platinum difficulty for this game is a 4 out of 10. I hope you guys enjoyed the idiotic adventures of RE5. If you want to experience these Platinums live, go ahead and check out my Twitch channel. It's the same name over there. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Eat ass forever.